Greetings everyone. Welcome to Law Logical, your go-to channel for understanding complex legal concepts in a simple and digestible manner. Here, we break down the labyrinth of legal jargon into comprehensible, bite-sized pieces. Our mission today? To demystify the adoption laws in India for married couples. Yes, we're taking that daunting legal maze and turning it into a walk in the park. Today we delve into the world of adoption laws in India, focusing on married couples. So sit tight and let's get started. Adoption, a term that signifies love beyond biological boundaries, is governed by specific laws in India. At its core, adoption is an act of legally taking another's child and bringing it up as one's own. It's a beautiful process that creates new familial bonds, knitting hearts together in a unique fabric of love and care. In India, the process of adoption is primarily governed by two major laws. The first one is the Hindu Adoption and Maintenance Act of 1956. This law is specific to Hindus, Buddhists, Jains and Sikhs. The second one is the Juvenile Justice Act of 2015, which is a secular law and is applicable to all religions. These two laws form the backbone of the adoption framework in India each with its own unique set of guidelines and provisions. Now that we have a basic understanding of what adoption means, let's move on to the specifics of these laws. Firstly, we have the Hindu Adoption and Maintenance Act of 1956, which is applicable to Hindus, Buddhists, Jains and Sikhs. This act is a pioneering piece of legislation, setting a precedent for adoption laws not just in India, but across the globe. Let's delve into the key aspects of this act, starting with who can adopt. The act states that any male or female, if they're of sound mind, not a minor, and are capable of providing for the needs of the child, can be an adoptive parent. Importantly, if the person is married, then the consent of both spouses is mandatory for adoption. This ensures a unified decision, creating a welcoming environment for the child. Now, who can be adopted? The Act is clear that any Hindu child, male or female, who is unmarried and has not turned 15, can be adopted. However, if the child's custom or usage allows adoption after the age of 15, it can be permissible. The Act also outlines certain conditions for a valid adoption. The adoptive parent cannot have a biological or adopted son-son-son or son-son-son at the time of adoption. Similarly, they can't have a biological or adopted daughter or son's daughter if they're adopting a daughter. This is to ensure that every adopted child gets undivided attention and care. But it's not just about the adoptive parents or the child. The Act makes sure that the rights of the biological parents are also respected. It states that the child must be given willingly and in good faith for adoption by the biological parents or guardian. In essence, the Hindu Adoption and Maintenance Act of 1956 is comprehensive, taking into account the rights and responsibilities of all parties involved. It establishes a legal and ethical framework, ensuring that adoption is a process of love, commitment and lifelong responsibility. This Act ensures that the rights of all parties involved in the adoption process are protected. Moving on, let's discuss the second law. The Juvenile Justice Act of 2015, on the other hand, is a secular law that applies to all religions. This legislation came into existence to address the needs of children in conflict with the law and those in need of care and protection. It's a comprehensive law that encompasses many aspects, but for the purpose of our discussion, we will focus on its provisions related to adoption. One of the key features of this Act is the eligibility criteria for prospective adoptive parents. The Act has made adoption more inclusive by allowing single adults, married couples and even divorced individuals to adopt. The only requirement is that the individual should be physically, mentally and emotionally stable, financially capable and should not have any life-threatening medical condition. The process of adoption under this Act is also worth noting. The Central Adoption Resource Authority, or CARA, is the nodal body for adoption in India under this Act. It has laid down detailed guidelines for adoption. The process begins with the registration on CARA's online portal, followed by home study and counselling sessions. 
once the prospective parents are found eligible, they are matched with a child. The final step is the legal process, which involves the court, leading to the issuance of an adoption decree. A remarkable aspect of the Juvenile Justice Act of 2015 is its provision for both domestic and international adoptions. This means that Indian children can find homes not just in India, but across the globe. This has helped many children find loving homes and a chance at a better life. This act has made the adoption process more inclusive and streamlined, ensuring the best interests of the child are always prioritized. It is a testament to the country's commitment to providing every child with a nurturing environment, irrespective of their background or circumstances. It's a giant step towards securing the future of our children, the future of our nation. So there you have it, a simple explanation of the adoption laws in India for married couples. We've taken a journey together, unraveling the intricacies of the adoption process, and hopefully, it has provided you with some clarity. We began by discussing the concept of adoption and its significance. It's more than just a legal proceeding. It's about giving a child a new family and a chance at life. Next, we dived into the Hindu Adoption and Maintenance Act of 1956, an act that specifically caters to the Hindu community, and discussed the eligibility and conditions for adoption we then moved on to the Juvenile Justice Act of 2015, a more inclusive law that allows people of all religions to adopt. It also emphasizes the need to prioritize the best interests of the child. Understanding these laws is vital for anyone considering adoption. It helps you navigate the process smoothly and ensures you're well prepared for this life-changing decision. Remember, Adoption is a beautiful journey filled with love and compassion. It's about giving a child a second chance at life and a loving family. Thank you for joining us today. If you found this video helpful, please show your support by liking, sharing and subscribing to our channel if you haven't done so already. Don't forget to drop any questions or suggestions in the comments section below. Stay tuned for more insightful videos on Law Logical. Until then, stay informed and stay safe.